what do you think of this whole idea of uh, this warning that is combined with immigration levels and the regression of the leftists, um, Islam is a you know sort of like a rising threat and will eventually take over and with birth rates and all of that. No, I think that this is um, this whole thing about Islam rising threat and Muslim immigrants and everything becoming too much and it's going to take over. It's just scaremongering nonsense. And I think the Muslim community is is actually moving more towards. Uh, skepticism and questioning from my experience right. um, then I think we give them credit for. So I think that ex-Muslims have had a huge impact on Muslim communities in the West in the sense of you know they're bringing the conversations about Islam and some of its more questionable areas to the forefront of debate and I think that you know yes Muslim communities might grow in terms of from an ethnic standpoint in terms of Muslim communities that are uh, you know Pakistani or whatever but I think religiosity-wise, I don't think that it's, it's getting worse. I think that where it got worse after 9-11, I don't think that there is a geopolitical context for that to continue being the, the, you know, the, the way it's supposed to be. I think things are going to go the other way now. I think people are going to move much more towards their own personal interpretation of Islam or, or different various aspects of it that they can take on board, which are not just you know, the hard line. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.